Hi there, so today we're going to be doing a coffee video. I'm going to walk through the gear that I use and how I make my coffee every day. I'm going to set up a little bit of a filming studio just for my coffee gear and I'll walk you through how I do that. Let's go! This is my current coffee setup right here. I usually put the coffees that I'm drinking right over there. I have my brewers back there, kettle, grinder, and the area where I make my coffee right over here with my scale, filters over there, and my water filter. So to film this tutorial, I'm planning on pulling this all forward and then setting up my camera right over there just so you can get a shot from the front. Hi, so this is my setup, kind of just rearranged things a little bit. This is the Fellow Oat Grinder. I did get it when it first came out. So this is the Gen 1. There are some modifications on it. This is a custom 3D printed lid with a bellow. The bellow helps press air through the grinder so that there are no grinds left in the grinder. I also did buy the Gen 2 burrs just so that it can grind a little finer. This is the fellow Stag EKG. Um, it does have like the nice wooden handle and knob. Over here we have the Timor Black Mirror scale and then we have the fellow Mighty Carafe. The brewer that I've been using every day has been the Orea V3 have my WDT tool and then I have a spray bottle. All right, so that's my gear. Now let's brew. We're gonna start by boiling our water at 210 degrees Fahrenheit. Whatever that is in Celsius, I'll just put it somewhere here. All right, so our water is boiled. Now let's grind our coffee. Today we're gonna be drinking this Costa Rica honey process from Onyx Coffee. So what I do is I usually take a little bean dosing cup Tear it out, and then I'm gonna dose out 12 grams of coffee. Definitely on the smaller side of what a cup of coffee is, but it makes it more enjoyable. I think when you brew a lot of coffee, let's say you do a 30 gram pour over, or a 20, 25 gram pour over, you end up with a lot of coffee, and then you end up not enjoying the full cup of coffee as much. For me, 12 grams is the perfect amount because it's not too much coffee and I can enjoy it. Um, I also tend to have multiple 12 gram doses throughout the day. That way, if I have a couple coffees in my rotation, I can try a couple of them throughout the day and enjoy them instead of just having 30 to 25 grams of one coffee. We're gonna give these beans a little spray, give them a shake, and then I'm gonna grind them at about a five and one third on the fellow oat with the Gen Tubers. Use the little knocker and then give it a couple pumps of air. And then we're done. We have our coffee beans right here. We'll set those to the side for now. Now we're gonna set up our brewer. So the Orea is compatible with Kalita Wave style filters. This is the larger one, but you can also use the smaller ones. And then we're gonna grab our kettle and give it a little rinse. All right, after you rinse the filter, we're gonna grab our beans, give them a little shake just to get any of the clumps out. You're gonna try to put them in evenly. Just a little note about the grind size. We are going for a medium fine grind, as you can see here, nice and flat. All right, so this next step is a little extra. We're gonna take a little WDT tool and we're gonna just give them a little stir just to distribute them and just so that there aren't any clumps in our bed. All right, we're gonna tear the scale and then we're gonna do our bloom. So since we did 12 grams in, we're gonna do a 40 gram bloom and I'm gonna do it for two minutes. Start our timer. This two minute bloom is based off of Lance Hedrick's Kono brewing recipe. The two minute bloom produces a sweet cup of coffee with a smooth finish. So for my recipe, we're gonna be doing 12 grams of coffee, a two minute bloom with 40 grams of water, and then we're gonna end with a total of 200 grams of water poured. All right, so we're approaching the end of our bloom. Let's do our first pour. We're gonna do another 40 grams of coffee. Perfect. Give 
that swirl. So for your pores, you want it so that your stream of water isn't breaking up into little beads. It's still one stream, but right about where it's about to break up. You want to start in the middle and then slowly work your way out and make sure you're still watching the weight so you don't go over the amount of water you're supposed to pour. So right now we're at 160 and I'm going to do my last pour. While that's finishing up, let's preheat our cup just by rinsing it with some of this hot water. All right, our brew is done and it ended at about four minutes and a half. That's totally okay. We did do a two minute bloom, so that does factor into why it was such a long brew. And then make sure your cup doesn't have any of that water left in it. And then we're gonna pour it into our cup. All right, and your cup of coffee is ready. One last thing I like to do is give my brewer and my carafe a little rinse of water. All right, thanks for watching this little tour of my dorm room setup and for following along with how I brew my coffee. I hope you enjoyed it and let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. I'll see you in the next one.